Hi, it's Rosie Batista, and we're here with Possibility Partners and my co-host, the amazing Miss Andy Lyons. And we're here for tips, tools, and resources because we want to share with you as entrepreneurs uh, better ways to build your business, and you're not out there alone. So today, I don't even want to waste time with an introduction because we have the most fabulous Yafat with us, and she is your go-to Google goddess. And she's just amazing. I'm really excited to, to hear what she has to say because Andy and I just kind of fell into this Google thing about two months ago and we're just new at it and she's got, she knows everything there is to know about Google. She grew her list from zero to 20,000, right Andy? Yeah. In like eight months, right? You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get started right away and start getting our expert go-to girl right up front. Here we go. Yay, he fought. <laughs> he fought. So I'm so thrilled to have you here. And Thank you. I'm gonna get, I just want to get right into it because you are a, a gold mine and, and Rosie and I are famous for sucking everything out of somebody that they can possibly give to us because <laughs> we want to get better at what we're doing. We want to help other people grow their businesses, etc. Yeah. So my thing that I've been curious about since the minute I found out about you um, was how did you know to go to that Google Plus was even coming. How did you know that it that you wanted to be on the ground floor because you were in Google Plus before it was even a twinkle in somebody's eyes? And um, and then how did you know it was going to be a great platform for you? So just go right ahead and take your time. So I uh, I actually got okay. Let me start with my uh, lousiness because I sucked at social media. <laughs> oh, <God>. um, <laughs> I was really bad, no Twitter, no Facebook, you know, nothing happened there. And um, and then Google, I received an invitation from Google to join um, Google Plus. And it just, you know, blossomed because we I was connected by on passion. So I found these people all over the world. And now we're talking to each other and we're kind of like a family and we're testing things and, you know, we're, we're you know, we're friends. And the beauty of it is that I could be... I could portray myself publicly the way I wanted to be portrayed, but then I could be myself with certain people. So if I have like a naughty side, um, that naughty side will never be out if I, you know, share it with someone privately. And I've never found that on any other of the networks. So I just dove in and, um, and I made great relationships and I was like, guys, you don't get this. This is so awesome. You can be yourself and you don't have to worry about this. You can come back and edit and change things. And um, and so that's it. So I dove into it, and I was like, but then it's Google, right? It's not one site. It's everything. It's YouTube, and it's analytics, and it's search, and it's private, and nobody steals my stuff. So I um, I just dove into it, and we started playing. It was all a game. And now some of the people that we started with, it's kind of like I hardly communicate with them anymore, which is kind of sad because it really felt like a close family. Sure, um, sure. But now we make new friends, like yourself. Yeah. So I <laughs> well, I, I want to talk more about that naughty versus nice because everybody knows that's my line of work. Of course you do, Miss Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that you brought up a very good point, which is Google Plus allows you to have filters, meaning you can be over here showing your pets and what you did last night over here in this corner to this group of people, whereas over here it's your polished professional self and with your lipstick on and, and talking business or your boas on and talking business. But um, what I'd like to know next is how when you, because you know everyone, Ifat coaches people, she teaches people or she does it for them, which is what I really love about her services that she offers at, offers at gplus go to gal, uh, dot com. But I want to know if when when someone hops on to Google Plus and says, okay, I'm ready to build my platform, build my presence, etc. What do you suggest they do from day one after they've made this big decision to, you know, expand their territory off of Twitter and Facebook and and leave their pinning behind at Pinterest? So my uh, my understanding of Google Plus and what really fascinates me about this is that I think they manage to take our real life and put them online. So if you think about like Facebook, you take your real life and you just like the people that you know already, right? And now you're communicating with them online. In Google, you actually meet the people that you would go out and search for. Like if you are an entrepreneur, you're looking for like-minded people. 
you're going to go to networking events and you're going to start looking for, look, okay, who thinks like me? You can do the same thing on Google Plus and now you also have the face-to-face -face communication so this relationship really improves. So if you are a mother and you want to spend your entire day talking about your kids, so let's find some other mothers and Google is a search engine. You just go to Google and you say, moms, and you see what comes up. And then you go there and you look at their profile and you say, wow, that's a person I want to communicate with. Let me follow them, let me interact with them, let me share them and build a relationship with them, right? And then they'll come and say, okay, who is the person who's interacting with me? Why are they interacting with me? Mm -hmm. Why are they sharing me? Why are they commenting? And a relationship is being built. So it's the same thing as you do in real life. And what makes me think that if people think that Google Plus is a ghost town, they probably don't have a lot of friends in real life. <laughs> you know, they go to a party and they're like, hey, I'm here. Come on, entertain me. <laughs> How come you're not entertaining me? This party is boring. <laughs> well, I think, too, that the folks are used to the Facebook type of engagement. I think they're afraid of it. You fight, like you say to people, and they're like, oh, I don't really get it. I don't understand it. And they, don't, they really don't see the whole broad picture of it. Do you find that? Well, I think you're right. And I think the biggest problem is um, our voice, right? So if you're in Facebook, you have a voice with your family. And you know that if you're going to say something, your mother, father, friends they already understand your voice. They already know who you are. They're not gonna, if you're going to say something racist, they're going to, you know, like a racist joke, they know you're not racist. So they're not going to come back at you and be like, oh, you mm, naughty girl. But if you're in Google+, and it's public, and you're afraid of saying something that, you know, the entire world can see, now you're like, okay, what's my voice? Who I want to portray myself as? And because of that, people hold back, right? So two things Google did greatly. One, you can have your voice with certain people, right? So you can be yourself with certain people who understand the way you think and the way you communicate. And the other great thing is you can edit. So <laughs> if I made a mistake and someone in the comment wrote, hey, you said four and it was actually five, I come back and I say, I correct it to five and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> right? So it's like you can be fun and playful, but you can't do that in Twitter and Facebook. So but that's... What? It, and also the thing about people being afraid to be in front of camera, because even if you're hanging out, I mean, you have to, you know, you kind of have to look a little presentable, <laughs> where if you're hiding behind, like, the words, no one sees you in your pajamas. That's true. But it, um, it's true. And when Hangouts first came out, I used to be a black man. <laughs> I had the picture of a black man talking. It wasn't me. <laughs> I was hiding behind Why? Something. Why? 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 I wasn't, like, you know, we're all, nobody's comfortable, right? You see yourself yeah. and... You, you, I have my own issue with my nose. I don't know what you're nose. talking about. <laughs> What's that? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly, <laughs> right? I'm like, this hat is just for, you know, it's not to hide me. <laughs> it's perfect. But I think, too, you've also brought up a very important part, uh, point, which I've heard a lot of discussions on since I've decided to build my platform here on Google+, Plus, um, from, which is the privacy factor. I feel that, or what I'm sensing, is that it's a lot safer here via communication and what you share than it is on Facebook. Can you expand yeah. on that? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we've tested that. So if I share, um, if I share a private post with you, Andy, mm -hmm. no, even if people have the direct link, they won't be able to see it. Wow. Whereas if you share a post, publicly, public message on Facebook, and someone has the direct link, they'll see it if they're logged into Facebook or Twitter or anything else, right? But Google is completely private. And so, um, which can be a good thing, or it could be a naughty thing, right? We know mm -hmm. we're not all faithful. I am, but no. <laughs> but you know, it can be like if you take it, there, there could be uh, uh, good and bad things for it. It depends right. how you use the technology, right? So, um, so let's go back to the beginning again. We're building our platform, and of course, we can throw in if everybody visits. Um, Ifat's uh, wonderful timeline on Google, you can see how you can bling it out beautifully and you can bling it out here on your wonderful uh, what we call the lower third and you know hangout toolbox and you can see we all have our fancy names. There's you know Miss Rosie looking fabulous there and gives you a chance to showcase when you're in a hangout like this. But when we first come to Google and we put up our profile and if we want to set a page up great, let's talk about the circles. Okay, oh, I was just going to so, ask that. That confuses me. Yeah. So, um, okay, so if you start with your profile, um, put a picture, um, put a banner, 
Mm -hmm. Fill up the entire information. So Google is a search uh, search engine, right? And if you right. think of Google's goal, what is Google trying to do, really? <clears throat> it's trying to give you the information you're looking for, right? The better information, if you're going on search and you're searching for candy, and they can give you an ad or a website that talks about candy, you're going to come back to Google and search for something else, right? Mm -hmm. So they want to keep giving you the right information. So you should help them. If you want to be found for um, Hangouts, put Hangouts in your About place. If you want to be found, like, and put it in the first paragraph, uh, put it in your description, put it in like what you do, talk about that stuff, make sure that your posts are the same thing, you know, the title says Hangouts in them. So whatever you're going for, make sure that Google knows this is what you are, right? And then Google will serve you when some, someone else is looking for the solution that you're offering. Wow. So start with your page, your profile, picture, about, location, where you are, because Google is becoming, you know, more local. Help Google help you. So now that you have yourself set up, um, put links there, right? Fill up all your links, the links to your blog, the links to your uh, YouTube channels, um, everything, right? Languages, right. whatever you want. So fill that out. And now put a few blogs, um, a few, yeah, a few posts. Mm -hmm. So let's say you are, are we talking entrepreneurs or are we talking anyone in general? Are we talking business or personal? What are we talking? <laughs> well, well, I think that's it, and I think that's what everybody has to decide. I know for me, it went right up, Andy Lyons for my profile, and boom, bring back desire for my page. And I populated both accordingly. But then, you know, setting up circles, and I know I've got like, I've got so many people in so many circles, I don't know if I'm coming or going anymore. Circles are difficult because, um, as you build a relationship with people, then they move circles, the same as in your real life, right? So yes. someone will move from an acquaintance to a friend, maybe, and maybe then to a fiancé and a husband, <laughs> right? And then maybe an ex-husband. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it happened. It even happened on Google+. Plus. Marriages have happened here. Um, they have, actually. You don't know? Really? Really? Honestly, yeah, yeah. So there is a couple, I'm not going to mention names, but um, they both got a divorce on the same day, and then uh, he put a ring that he's going to buy for her, and they got married, and she is not an American. Um, I think she's in Canada. And Canada has a rule that if you get a divorce, you cannot marry within a year. And all of a sudden, this wow. very conservative man said, now I understand gay people. Like, how dare Canada tell me who I can marry and when can I marry them? And he's changed his entire perception about, like, well, gay people should be able to marry as much as they want. Beautiful. So Google Plus is changing lives, I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs> wow. So anyway. So, um, yeah, the circles, yeah. The circles. So you um, meet, so let's say you're going by your keywords. You want to connect with um, your personal passions and your professional passions, right? So put your personal passions, like if you're a mother like me, you have a parenting circle. And if you are a moviegoer, you have movie circle. And if you are a bookworm, you have book circle. And if you like, you know, boas, you have a fashion <laughs> circle. Right? And so yes. you can start creating your own circles based on your own interests. Because Google Plus is all about your own passion. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you can go and search for those keywords. Like, okay, who is in passion? Who's in, in fashion? Who's a parent? Who's a marketer? Who is an entrepreneur, right? And Google right. will give it to you. Right. Right? And then well, put when, you, when you find the person, do you, mm -hmm. um, then you just start like engaging like you would like in a conversation with someone, get to know them a little and then kind of, like how do, how do, you, how do you do that? How do you engage with someone that you don't know? So how did you engage with me? <laughs> How did you find each other? How did you find each other? Well, I found you. Uh, you thought it was, you were in a. Uh, I think you were in a hangout with Chris Yates. I think maybe. Mm -hmm. I interviewed him. Or and, he, oh, the fashion, the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. For me, Paul. Paul, uh, Paul. Yes, Paul uh, Ramsey. Paul Ramsey. That's it. Yes. And so that's how I found you. And. Um, yeah, we just said hi, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how did you two meet each other? Oh, Rosie and I, we met at a, a networking event and realized, given our, she a was sleeping network. naked and I was bring back desire that we all obviously had a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> so Olga and I was here. Um, he started following me and he sent me uh, a post and he said, hey, you know, this is what I do and it's pretty interesting. What do you think? 
And I was like, oh my God, it's really interesting. Let's talk about this and have a hangout and we build a relationship from there. Wow. Um, oh, I love so that. if you find someone that shares your passion, they'll probably, they're sharing your passion. You can share stuff with them. Or you can go and comment. Everybody loves to see interactions on their posts, right? Yes, yes. So if you post something, you want people to share it, you want people to plus one it, you want comments, mm -hmm. you want a discussion, so do that. Think so, about yeah. the same thing that you're gonna, if, if you're walking to a party in real life, if you're going to a networking event, you're not walking in there and going like, hey, look, I've arrived and I have this list of products, which one would you wanna buy for me? <laughs> right? right? You would go in and you would say, Hi, Andy. You have a great boa. How'd you get that? Where'd you get that from? Why are you wearing a boa? I love your glasses. It's so cute. I love purple on you, right? And then you'll tell me something, and I'll be like, wow, this isn't interesting. Have you thought about? Or I'll add my two cents, and I'm not selling you anything. I'm just sharing. <laughs> right, right, right. And that's how relationship is being built. So the same way you build your relationship offline, do them on Google+. Plus. OK. And so you can have a circle where you've got your friends and you're chatting about all that great personal stuff that you wouldn't want anybody to know about and nobody's gonna know about it. Nobody's gonna say there's no way for them to see you know if you had so many shots of tequila the night before or you've been dating this guy but you dumped him or you know all of that. <laughs> um, nobody's gonna see that. And you know what I've created a community for my family Mm -hmm. So, because we want to share stuff, and if my husband uh, uploads pictures of our outing together, then I cannot add to his album. But if I have a community, <sighs> then we can all share in the same community, and my entire family can interact, and we can have an event page, and it's private just for us. Well, that's so a no good one thing. Else is there. That's a good thing for you to talk about right now. Then is the fact that Google Plus just set up the feature of communities. Why don't you chat about that a little? So that's a really interesting thing, right? Because. Um, we haven't solved the ghost town issue yet, and now we're asking people to be part, very active in communities. Um, and in a community, you'll find communities with a thousand people, but um, maybe ten of them are active, right? Mm -hmm. So does that tell you? And this is a question. I don't know. Is are more people followers? Do they more want to just see what's happening in the interest there and not contribute? You know, because managing yeah. a community is a lot of time, and it's very, you know, it's time-consuming and it takes a lot of effort and if people are not reacting to whatever you do then it's like okay is it a community or me on a podium well and I, I saw that happen with uh, social media examiner when they set up their whole community and people jumped on and they had organizers etc but I really haven't seen that much engagement and I know that I heard CeCe Chapman speak earlier and he said really who is taking the time to Im read your whole blog post or engage everybody is just out flat so how do you keep them engaged in something like a community and you know we're, I'm sure a lot of us are on Facebook groups as well and we can see how that can be vibrant or peter out so to speak yeah. yeah so I think again it goes back to the personal element right if you're starting a community and every person that comes in you are like hi thanks so much for joining this is the goal of this community Mm -hmm. Why did you join? How can we serve you? How can we find out? So right, again, it's a private post, but it's one-on-one -on -one interaction. Right. And you're trying to figure out what the members want so that the community can bring them up. Right. So there's everything in there. There's leadership and there's um, positive reinforcement, right? Like Gidon Rosenblatt just did that. He's like, hey, these are all the active people in the community. I want to recognize them. Here's a shared circle. So recognitions and... Um, you know, and personal interaction, all that stuff. Right. So again, the question is, do you have the time? What's the return mm -hmm. on investment on that? Right. right? Is it only for um, authority? Is it, you know, just for you to be involved in a community that you want to get something personal out of it? Mm -hmm. You know, I I'm looking for mothers, so I just want to be active in a parenting community right. for my own personal interest, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll be active there, but do I have time to be as active as I would like someone else to be active in my community? Right? So it's like... <laughs> yeah. That's tough. Now let's talk about the business aspect. How have you seen Google Plus help small businesses, consulting, solopreneurs, etc. get a lift? My personal belief is that Hangouts will change the world. Um, and it, they'll do this wow. because of this face-to-face -face interaction and mm -hmm. then 
um, the relationships that are being built through Hangouts. Right. Right. So if there are two CPAs in my on my street and one of them hangouts with me whenever I need them, right? He's mm -hmm. gonna have my business. Yeah, regardless yeah, of whether yeah, he's charging like me more or if he's, you know mm -hmm. nothing. The convenience, the personal connection and the care right. is gonna separate him from everybody else. And so if you are a business, I would encourage you to start listening and inviting your customers to talk to you. Just talk. You know, you can open it up and be like, hey, I'm hanging out once or twice a week uh, for an hour. It's open. Anyone can come in and just tell me what you think. Right. And then if you, uh, if you don't want to tell me face to face, you can text me, you can leave me a post, you can email me. But let me know because um, if you don't and you're upset, that's going to hurt me in my search results <laughs> and that's going to cost me money. So I want to make sure that you as my customer are very happy. And um, my son's pediatrics, this is an awesome example. Uh, she pays over a thousand dollars a month to be on the first page of Google. So you go to the first page of Google, you're looking for pediatric, pediatrics and you click on her link and it takes you to her Google Plus local because they changed, right? Uh -huh. And you see eight bad reviews. So you go, you, okay, you go back in your browser and you click on the next one. So she is now promoting her competition because people come to her, she's on the first page of Google and they see lousy results, they'll never come back again. Right. Right? So right. she's like, well, nobody tells me this. What am I supposed to do? I'm doing my best. I'm like, okay, how about open a hangout, <laughs> talk mm. to you people, and actually reach out to each one of these people who put a bad review and ask them, why did you do this? Can, how can I make it better? Wow. Right? And it's wow. Google, so they can come back and they can edit. <laughs> right? They can be like, well, I gave them two points, now I can change my stuff, they talk to me, I actually understand that it wasn't their fault, or whatever they wow. want to do, but they can change That's it. awesome. That's great advice, really it's good. Advice. It's a great I, advice, and I just, you know, I keep... I keep, you keep saying this edit feature. It's I'm having a hard time because everything usually that you put out in the world is there forever. So you could go back to a post you wrote how long ago and edit it. Yeah, and and actually we tested that too. Wow. <laughs> and Google indexes uh, Google Plus I think every 15 seconds or every minute. So it uh, it indexes its own services faster than it does your own website. Wow. So wow. if you make a correction on your website, then it will take a little while before the entire world you know realizes there's a change but on Google Plus it's pretty quick so what we've tested is we wrote a post we went to search we searched for the post we found the post and we can see all the comments if it's public we can see the comments in search and so then we went and created another comment we saw that appear and then we changed one comment and we saw that appear so wow. yeah it's it's um, it, that's why I love Google Plus. It's so comfortable. You can't right. make mistakes. You know? <laughs> if anything is bad, erase it. You know. Now, it, was, it was interesting to me that you said you sucked at social media, <laughs> and so, <laughs> and I mean, I feel the same way about Twitter. I just cannot get it. And so, do you just hang out here at Google Plus? You don't do anything else. And is do you think it's okay for an entrepreneur to pick one that really resonates with them and just focus on that versus having to be on everything, every platform? I think as an entrepreneur it goes back to return on investment and your time is the most important thing. So Mike Elgin did that when Google Plus came out and he called it the Google Plus diet. And he said, I'm sending everything out from Google Plus to the world but the conversation comes back to me. So all I have to do is be on Google Plus and people come here and the conversation will be here. And what you get on Google Plus is 100% of me and not 10% on Facebook, 10% on Twitter, a little bit on LinkedIn, a little bit here. Like so that. if what he it's it's brilliant and actually I'll encourage you to look up the Google Plus diet because he lists exactly how he does that. His email list is his posts, um, he sends it to Facebook, RSS feeds, everything is connected to one one spot. And is so it, you actually and sorry, this is Michael? This is Michael? Mike um, Elgin. Elgin. E L G Mike Elgin. Awesome. Wow, and Love the Google that. Plus diet. Okay, go on. Sorry, yeah. just put that down. <laughs> so, and and the other side is like, when, if you are a plumber, do people go to Twitter and look for a plumber, or do they go to Google on their phone even? Right. Um, no. Google is the search engine, and which is why they make billion because people pay them to be found on Google. 
And so if Google now is looking for content, relevancy, social signals, right, you get those from Google+. Plus. And if Google+, Plus is showing on search, and 40% of people are logged in when they're searching, then the more people you have in your circles, the more you will be found. And it's not only your circles, it's also the, the circle circles. So if someone with a million and a half followers uh, is circling you, then their followers, those million and a half, will find you also. So the extended circles. Wow. So you have your circles and extended circles. Wow, that's awesome. And let's talk a little bit about the perception of the ghost town about Google+, and what's What's being done to help shift that uh, branded image? I think people need to take responsibility for their own lives, <laughs> even on Google+, right? Yeah. So the problem is the same thing as if you go to a party and you're like, okay, entertain me. That's the same thing people come to Google+, and like, okay, why isn't anything showing up? Well, did you follow someone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you interact with them? <laughs> I remember this joke when someone's calling tech support and saying there's a problem with their email because every time they click refresh, it says no new mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it's perfect. Like, That's right? Perfect. So where is my post? Why is anyone communicating with me? Well, go out and you know seek the people and contribute and add your two cents and don't worry about making mistakes because. Um, it's all good. So yep. um, before I open up the room to questions from folks here today, I just want to ask you to share what you do at G Plus Go To Gal and what your services are that you offer. So I um, I have actually a free membership club with uh, over thirty videos, free videos that will walk you through getting started with Google Plus. There's a, an hour long webinar that shows you how to find your target market and engage with them. But on my site, I, um, I will coach you if you want one-on-one. -on -one. I will teach you if you want through videos and stuff like that. And I can also do this for you so you can take care of your business and I'll build the Google Plus following for you. Yay! I, I don't have to clap. I'm not doing the clapping feature well. That's wonderful. <laughs> right. is, there any, is there anything else you'd like to share with the, the audience in the world right now while you have the center stage? And then we'll just go around the room and see who has questions. I, I okay. So my my really, I w I think I want to be the catalyst for changing the world through Hangouts. So use me, abuse me, ask me, you know, anything <laughs> for that kind of stuff. But I I really encourage you to, uh, if you are camera shy or um, worried about engagement, go to the Hangout tab, see how many people are j hanging out, and just join and sit quietly until you have something to say. You know, if there are five people, they're talking. They're not going to mind someone observing. Right. And just get comfortable with it. And then, you know, jump into a few Hangouts that um, interest you. That's, that's the thing. Find your interest and dive in. And you'll have fun. And then the more fun you have, everybody else will have fun because it ripples and will be a happy right. world. You know, I'm very fond of Twitter. It's one of my favorite places. I get a great bang for my buck there and for my business. And I would join tweet chats all mm -hmm. the time to you know have that engagement and find my like-minded peeps and I can see that that's how you will do it here as well. It doesn't have to be about business, it doesn't have to be about you know it could be photography. Look at that kid who got, who's on every Friday night who's what 20 or something years old he has a hangout it's a popular hangout and he's just oh, talking. Billy. To, yeah, Billy Billy. Billy. yeah yeah you know and it's he yeah. just started just with himself and yeah. it grew and grew and grew so that's a great idea. All right, folks, unmute yourselves, and anybody want to jump in and ask? We've got, if you're looking down on the lower left and underneath, we have uh, Bobby Hughes is the gorgeous blonde, the first gorgeous blonde. And then we have, I know, Deborah right here, Deborah Oakland, who is going to ask a question. Go yes. for it, Deborah Oakland from Laguna Beach. I have a question about the Google Plus Hangouts. Now, are, how, what percentage of the Hangouts are recorded? Everything on air. So, so if you're going to get on a Hangout, I mean, how, how do you know if they're recorded or if they're not recorded? Or does um, it not matter? You just, just find one. Like, I want to find one for writers. Awesome. Okay, so do a few things. Should I share my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, and, Deborah, there's regular Hangouts, and then there's what we do here, which is uh, live. So I so could just jump on the Hangout with writers. Okay, so if you go to the Hangout tab, right, you can see who's hanging out. 
and they'll be like uh, view more okay there we go so these are our private ones that's on it most recent now these are people in your circles so if you see one person I don't know if you're gonna jump there but three people you might want to jump in there you go see there's like six people so I'm sure they're already talking <laughs> All right. so if you jump in and this is a private hangout it's not on air uh, you can jump in just see what's happening right if you want to find writers then type writers and from the drop down you see it says hangout and now you have self publishing podcast number 34 this one is on air right now so bye Deborah <laughs> <laughs> So if this one's on air, what you can do is like it seems like uh, Johnny is the one initiating them. You would go to Johnny's profile and start interacting with him. Watch this. Add your questions to the to the hangout below. Right. Be active on his post, and then you'll build a relationship. And then ask him to join uh, this hangout. Just be like, hey, when you hang out, I'd love to hang out with you. Let me know when writers are hanging out. Um, but awesome. that's really how you do that. You search for whatever word you want cooking okay thank you yeah. that's great there you go <laughs> thank you and then you can join a cooking and I and folks I just want you to know I have seen people have the most amazing cooking classes right here in a hangout I mean seriously their cameras pointed to them they're at the stove they're saying and now we're adding and the people are down below going mmm -hmm. um, and and so also, I know from Ronnie Bincer that they just made it so that you could go into a hangout and actually shoot your own video. So nobody has to be in the room with you. And instead of doing videos other ways, this is very easy. If you're not, you know, you need, if you don't need to edit heavily, you can do a quick video right from your hangout. Start broadcast, shoot, and bread broadcast. It goes right up to YouTube. Done. Um, if you wanted to, you can do that from YouTube itself. So you can record yourself on YouTube and then edit and then bring it to Google Plus. See? See? I tell you, and I think what what we um, what you can also expand on as well, you thought is the fact that Google really owns the water rights basically to the internet, in my opinion. So let's talk a little bit about how being having a strong presence on Google Plus really helps your search engine, your SEO. Yes. Um, well, you know authorship, right? So if you're connecting, um, if you're connecting your blog to your uh, Google Plus, when you write a blog post, then your picture is going to show up there. And now, if I am looking for anything, right, and I see a picture of Andy, I'm like, oh, I know Andy. I kind of trust her, um, you know, vote of confidence. She said this one is good. I'm going to click on it. Um, also, <clears throat> Google is connecting your AdWords to your page so if your page has a lot of plus ones and you are creating an ad then that will tell people that hey this is not a spammy ad mm -hmm. it's fine to click on it because five of your friends <laughs> said it's a good thing so awesome. it's actually increasing their click through right okay so going around the room here um, we uh, a have question. Yeah. Is, that, is that Mr. Todd Smith? Yes, it, it is I. Well you are up front and center Santa I appreciate it. Hey, let me let me uh, uh, piggyback something that Efat said, and and how Google Plus has really helped me. You know, I didn't know Efat, but I met her through Ronnie Venture, and 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 one thing about like Efat saying about a party, you go to a party. I don't just want to talk to one person at the party. I want to talk to a lot of people. So I talked to so through Efat I met Bess McCarty, and then through Bess McCarty I met people. So and and Efat has parties all the time or hangouts. I was on a hangout. I was hanging out watching her like yesterday with with Ryan Leaf, and uh, and and she has a lot of things. I'm not interested in all of them, but she she sends me she sends an invite out. I'm like, hey, this is one I want to hang out with, and then some things I'm not interested in, but that's okay. And that's how I got to meet you guys, Andy and, and Rosie. Right. I didn't know I didn't know about sleeping naked after forty until <laughs> a week or so ago. But I have a new found friendship, you know, and um, that 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 I, I like hanging out with you guys. So it's like, so hey, invite and when you have a party, invite me. I may come, I may not come, but but uh, but I'm all about relationships, and that's what Google Plus has helped me do. Awesome, 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 and and thank you so much. Todd and and for those of you 
who were, have been wondering about possibility partners, it was really just an idea that Rosie and I had to someday do. And then we went to uh, Chris Yates Hangout and saw what Hangout on Air was all about, and we said this would be a perfect venue to bring experts on and share great information to help you know, in all different aspects of growing a business, having the courage to start a business, etc. So it, it's just a great place to go. And um, who else has a, a question? Anybody else want to jump in there? I'm going to go, Laura, anything? Just raise your hand. Or do you have a question? All right. There she is. Oh, we need to, we, do, we need sound. There we go. Unmute yourself up at the top there. Thank There she is. No, nope, not yet. <laughs> oh well, sorry, Laura. We can't. We can't hear you. We'll type it in. <laughs> and Rashid, how about you? Any questions? No, Rhonda, you got a question. You're good. Oh, All right. Know Rashid found me. Wouldn't that be fun to find out? How'd, yeah, I you would. Want to type that in, Rashid. How Rashid, did you find? You have, me? A, you have a microphone though. <laughs> but you. I you, do. Yeah. There you go. Um, Yifat, I think that I met you through um, a hangout that you hosted with, uh, I think it was Gideon Rosenblatt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So see, there you go, hangouts, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what you know, we were talking about earlier with Deborah, they don't have to be on air. They can be a nice little private. If you've got clients, you can come in and do a one-on-one, -on -one, right? You thought? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Hangouts can be an awesome work tool. You can do so much with it. You can cut down your overhead, the travel, the meetings. You can work with Google Docs. You can work on the same document um, at the same time with people all over the world, right? So it's right. not like sending back and forth emails with corrections and all that stuff. It's right there. Um, it's a face-to-face. -face. It uh, you can do presentations, so you can use Hangouts on Air to be the presenter, mm -hmm. and we've done that in a theater where we did. Um, Mashable had a social good summit, and in New York, and we had them in Austin in a theater, and we projected the Hangout on the big screen, and a guy from New York, instead of flying here, actually gave the you know the, the speech to all the Austinites. So. Mm -hmm. Rather than if you need to talk to someone and you don't want to pay for their expenses to fly over, use a hangout. Okay, so Laura has a great question because, it, and Rosie struggles with this too, because whenever I invite her from a hangout, she never gets it. I have to send her the link, which is at the very top. There's a URL to every hangout. And um, Laura was just asking the same question. Until she sees the link in the, in the thread, she can't get on. So what's that about? Um, how are your notifications set up? Are you setting it up so that anyone can notify you, or are you setting it up that it's custom and just certain people can notify you? So it's all in the notifications. Okay, and where is that notification place that you're talking about for me when I go to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Learning by the seat of my pants, everybody. <laughs> all right, let me, uh, here, I'll share my screen. So you go to your, I don't know if you can see it. Um, let me okay. Me. There you go. Um, so you go to your profile and right okay. here account down to Google Plus and then here are your notifications receive right. notifications I'm not seeing anything that you just typed <laughs> oh there we go okay so you go in there got it manage subscriptions okay so I have to go in there and make sure I can what am I going to toggle or untoggle so right here on the top it says who can interact with you uh -huh. and who can send you notifications. And you can change that to anyone, extended circles, custom. So if anyone can say to you, then even people who are not in your circles can uh, invite you to a hangout. Great. And this one, messenger conversation, this is on your phone. So who can start a conversation with you? Wow. Okay. I'll be getting in there and fixing that because, of course, it was not about you, Laura, or Rosie, who had to leave early today. It was, it was about me. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're doing this. We're all learning. And for those of you who are in the room right now, when I end broadcast, I'll take you through a tutorial to help you put up what you see uh, Yifat has and, and what I have here. It's called The Lower Third. It says Andy Lyons, Chief Passion Curator. You know, Deborah's same thing, Deborah Oakland, livingencourageonline.com. It really gives you an opportunity to showcase 
you know, who you are, what you're doing while you're in the Hangout, and a really quick way to introduce yourself. And you don't always have to be who you are professionally. You can also be um, just regular old Andy or goddess or you know, guru or divine or whatever name you want to call yourself. You can have different handles depending on different Hangouts. And I really want to encourage everybody to uh, to try this, just to experiment. You can go in by yourself. You can hit the Hangout button and go in by yourself. Right, Ifa? You can just yeah. go in and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and have a great time. Awesome, awesome. Well, everybody, I want to thank you all for joining us today at Possibility Partners. We've had a great time with this amazing go-to goddess. You have to go check out her website because she has everything, she, as she said. <laughs> she has the videos. She has the hand-holding. She has the Complete Idiot's Guide for Google+. Plus and you know keeps it very simple but most of all what I find very important she'll do it for you and <laughs> god that's just great as much as we'd love to you know budget and be this and that it's just what's the best use of your time and uh, and having it so I just want to say thank you so much thank Deepak, you for, for joining us you are such a treat to follow and be part of um, in the whole Google Plus arena, I'm so glad there's a check out there because you know people are always saying it's mostly men in that Google Plus area, and we're here to just take care of that statistic really fast. And you are leading the charge, so Rosie and I are so yeah. grateful for all of that. Everybody, we'll see you next week when we have Mimi Donaldson, who's going to be talking about necessary roughness. And this is about women, you know, we need to be a little more assertive and learn how to set boundaries and say no and how to move things along in a way that. Uh, helps us with our businesses. She is one of the funniest goddesses in the planet, on the planet. She will have everybody laughing and roaring and really you'll cry you'll laugh so hard. That's the kind of speaker she is. So I just wanted to give you a heads up next Friday the 21st. Thanks to everybody in the room for bringing your accessories. You so rock and I love the fact that you you know have fun and I'm just going to do a quick tour around the room. There is Bobby. Yay! Look at all those beautiful yeah. Christmas decorations back there. Thanks for joining us today, Bobby. And then there's, of course, Deborah. And then there's uh, Holger. Where are you from, Holger? From Germany. Ah, so yeah. thank you very much for your effort. Oh, thank you. Some. Oh, boy, we've got a great accessory coming up. And there's Laura. <laughs> thank you, Laura, from Canada. And then Rashid. Beautiful. Bravo. <laughs> and, folks, you can get these kind of accessories with Google Effects. You don't actually have to wear them. And then, of course, Todd. So grateful to know you, Todd. And then the goddess of the day for us, Ifa. Thank you, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. Happy holidays. <laughs>